Hello ladies and gentlemen, and otherwise, what's up? My name is Devious, and welcome back to another episode of the Hildebrand questline. Last episode got... I just, I'm just... I'm not going to even do recaps anymore, because there's no point in it, because it is absolutely, completely and utter chaos. Yes, I know that didn't technically grammar, but you know what? At this point, I don't care. So... Let's get up, let's get back to work, and... Okay, yeah, let's just get on with this. The, pr <laughs> the proud and the pointy-eyed. <laughs> Why are they pointy-eyed? Seer is a man at the end of his tether. Really? <laughs> really? Now he's at the end of his tether. We need to speak, Luna. I've been scouring the archives for any information regarding the temporal magic since, l since last we spoke. And the results have been rather troubling, to say the least. As you may or may not be aware, ancient Aleg is portrayed in the Enchiridion, sure why not, as a cautionary tale, a great empire brought low by its vanity and hubris. However, there are certain apocryphal... apocryphal? Sure. Texts in which the Alegans are cast in a more sympathetic light, if not outright exalted. It was in these texts that I found references to temporal magics once wielded by elegant mages. Said magics could be used to halt or even reverse the temporal state of a given object. These accounts are to be believed, and if Gigi's abilities and these magics are one and the same, then it may be possible, it may well be possible for him to turn back the hands of time for the Grand Sirs, much as he restored the Duke's priceless vase. That being said, there are no there is no telling how this will work with regards to a living being. Consider, if you will, that the vase was filled with water when shattered. Even if the vessel were to were restored, what would become of its former contents? Good question. Would it be filled with water as before? The very same, even every drop returned, or would it be different water? Or would the water once spilt be forever lost? I speak of the soul, my friend, for even if one could use these magics to restore the dead to life, would they <clears throat> would they be as they were before, with all the same thoughts and memories and feelings? I doubt it. The Grand Sirs are convinced that they can regain their lost youth, and mayhap they can, but the dead who have entered in Hel into Helone's halls cannot return. They cannot, yet Gigi is nevertheless resolved to try and resurrect Arch Archimagus Quan. Now we're getting kind of sad here. Ah, speaking of which, according to some Charlian texts in the archives, Archimedes Quan was an accomplished scholar known for his study of ancient elegant magics. Furthermore, evident or further evidence that Gigi's abilities are likely derived from ancient traditions, I suppose. More importantly, I learned the location of the Archimedes's former residence. Oh dear. Maybe if we could find something of interest there, something that would help us persuade Gigi to change his course. I had a mind to summon Inspector Hildebrand to make the journey there together. Would you be willing to join us? Okay, if you're, <laughs> if you're just losing your shit dealing with this guy, why do you keep going back and inviting him on? <laughs> you're, you're glutton for punishment, my guy. Excellent, then let us be about our business. I saw you, heretics! Heresy. I beg your pardon? Are you accusing me of being a heretic? Yes, you, Inquisitor Seer. I saw you sneak into the archives and seek out the forbidden tomes. Saw the mad light in your eyes as you partook of their forbidden knowledge. Oh, for the love of... I did all of that for my investigation. Aha, uh -huh. and you admit to your crimes that you did <laughs> that you did secretly without permission in blatant contravention of our rules. Read forbidden tom I'm not stuttering for him, by the way. Read forbidden tomes. Then by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Supreme Sacred Tribunal of Hellenic Inquisitional Doctrine. Uh oh. You you stupid ignorant. <laughs> 
Are you all so desperate to keep your god's damn jobs that, you don't, that you'll go around accusing all the world and his wife of heresy? Is that what we've been reduced to? <laughs> okay, the Inquisition is becoming self-aware. You get him, sir. I'm sick and tired of looking for heretics in every bloody shadow, trying to trying to guess the secret sins of everyone I meet. It's stupid and pointless and we're better than that, damn it. We're better than that. <laughs> Seer drawing a line in the sand. Fuck yeah. If you will not surrender yourself, then I will have no choice but to, to inform my superiors. Goddamn right you do. <laughs> Fuck off. You got me standing right here. Try some shit, I dare you. Oh no, Seer. Well, that... That all came tumbling out, didn't it? I suppose I know that there's no point in trying to convince myself that I have no personal investment in this matter, or that I have, or that I still have a professional one. Somewhere along the way, I stopped looking into the guilty and started looking for, for the truth, perhaps, and a way to help those in need. My man. But there's no place for people like that in the Inquisition, is there? And <laughs> it's only a matter of time before that stuttering fool comes back with an armed guard. It's okay. I got him. Let us depart for Idleshire at once. We need to find the inspector. <laughs> Alright, so that... Wow, character development. Did not expect that in a Hildy quest. I'm not sure why not. Uh, Alright then. Away we go. Alright, so, real quick, a good friend, Christian, who uh, has been real supportive of the channel lately, has bought me something a couple of days ago. Actually, a couple of things. First of all is this Spriggan set, which is absolutely adorable. Oh my god, this is so cute. I love this. And then, I even set this up so I wouldn't have to struggle with finding it again. Then we have this adorableness, which is actually a lot more conservative than I thought it would be, but it is still quite absolutely cute. I love this. I don't know if I'm gonna, like, make an outfit out of this or something, but I'm definitely hanging on to this. Like, if, I, if there's an event or something, this is fantastic. I love this. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Um... I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, the Spriggan set, for some, I love this, I don't know why, it's just so adorable. I like the hoodie look, I guess, the jacket's really cool. This is fantastic, Christian, thank you so much for the cosmetic items, I very much, very much adore them. I will be uh, making glamours out of them as soon as humanly possible. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of pop over do that real quick. Uh, say thank you because I do believe that was a birthday gift, and even if it wasn't, thanks for thanks for the stuff, homie. You're you're bro. You're real bro. So, uh, someone by the name of V Falcon, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, posted a thing that I just had to read, and I meant to do this at the beginning, but it's it's totally fine. It's totally fine. We'll just read it now. And essentially, this is on the last Hildebrand video, so uh, please do enjoy. <clears throat> Next time on the adventures of Hildebrand Manderville, the epic conclusion to the Giggy Saga. Will Vivi return to his family? Will Seer continue to question his life choices? Will the Warrior of Light be forced to massage and rob more old people? Who can say? On this week's episode of... Hildebrand Manderville! Uh, Falcon, I hope that was as enjoyable as you hoped it would be. Uh, much love, and thank you so much for the comment. Alright, now, <laughs> now that we're done with that bullshit, let's actually get on with the mission. To it seem we arrived too late, Ex Inspector Hildebrand has already gone off on his own to confront the Grand Sirs. He's not really in danger. I mean, considering how often he's been spiked by Godbert, not much the Grand Sirs can do can actually hurt him. 
They came back briefly to trade jingly shine for supplies and whatnot, you see. And the gobbies ear caught them trading tongue flaps with about killing dragons in the forelands. <laughs> what? When the inspector learned about it later, he said he had to go he had to get after them right out right away and back take Giggy. He said he had a duty, not as an inspector but as a father. <laughs> this is getting dark, my guy. <laughs> Bugger that, he ha he's got no obligations to a bloody mammoth, especially one that chose to leave of its own free will, as I recall. I swear, I turn my back on the boy for one bleeding second and he loses his god's damned mind. <laughs> I'm afraid he might try to do something reckless, don't you think we should try to find him and offer hand lending? Everyone's talking like Goblin. It's weird. I'm rather more concerned about what will happen to the if the Grand Sirs attack, or worse, kill any of Frace Falger's brood. That's a good point! Well, first things first, I suppose. Luna, would you be so kind as to assist Mistress Nashu, Mistresses Nashu and Julian in their search for the Inspector? I will pay a visit to Archmages Quan's abandoned abode in the meantime. Oh, and before you think to refuse, know that you need not fear for my safety. <laughs> Let us just say that our singular experiences together have inured me to the harsh realities of, well, reality. Okay. Don't die! Huh. Could be the scrawny little shite's finally found a spine. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Let's start by heading to Tailfeather. I reckon the inspector probably went there first to ask after the Grand Sirs. So, if we do the same, we're sure to catch up with him eventually. Fair enough, Nashu. Nashu sprinting, Julian. <laughs> Julian just pimp walking. Alright. I'm just gonna throw this out there. Julian has been extremely calm lately, and I am worried. Oh, those daft sods. They were. They were for Annex Trine. Not quite sure what their intentions were, but they were awfully confident. That much I recall. Ah, uh, that's concerning. Ah, shoot. Stop looking sad. You're gonna make me sad. And then I'm gonna have to kill people. Alright, lads. We got a ways to travel, and you know what that means. Say it with me, boys! And girls. I'm not sexist. Walking is for peasants, and I have slain gods. Excuse me whilst I just fly this motorcycle off into the wild blue yonder like fucking E.T. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I never make that comparison earlier? This is fantastic. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny, but it's so funny. I don't know why I'm surprised by this, but you know what? I kind of am. All right. The poor, unfortunate soul who bears a striking resemblance to Orland is quite firmly embedded in, in the earth. Wait a minute, Orland doesn't have his armor anymore, so this is probably Hildebrand. Would you look at that? The inspector, the inspector sure gave him what for. <laughs> it may be, but where'd the other two get to? Not to mention the man. Why don't we pull him out and ask? Though, having said that, it looks easier said than done. Oh, how silly of me. I'm sure you've got more than enough strength to yank him free. Right, Luna? I mean, probably, but... Oh, no. Yeah, let me, ju let me just telekinesis force your ass from way over here. Please tell me to do that. Th yep! Called it! <laughs> I knew it was him! I knew it! Fucking called it. I don't know why I'm excited for that. It was so obvious, but still... I'll be. He's wearing some sort of magic mask that makes him look just like the inspector. Just like, like that man of a thousand faces back in Ulda. No, that's Hildebrand, all right. There's no fool in a mother's eyes. Valid. I say, what trouble has my beloved son gotten himself into this time? Oh, no. Oh, hey. Wait. Did you just happen to find Godbert while you were looking through that dude's mansion? 
Why, hello there, Lord God, Burden, and Inspector Seer. How do you two end up traveling together? Oh, hey, answer my question. Blind fortune, you might say. I was too far from... I was too far from Tailfeather when night began to fall, but... Fortunately, Lord Godbert chanced to find me wandering in the wilderness. How are you always here, man? Like, you were literally just everywhere around Eorzea and beyond. Lord Edmund told me about the re this recent trouble with the Grand Sirs, as well as Hildy's investigation. As a father cannot help... Oh. And a father cannot help but take an interest in his son's affairs, can he? Okay, that explains why he seems to be everywhere. Because he's actively chasing us. As for me, I was eager to share with you my latest findings, namely Archmage Quan's research notes. Mm. Yeah, I haven't slept like that since I was buried in l the lich yard. He's <laughs> just fine! With the busted up monocle, of course. Well, well, I must confess, no small measure of embarrassment to be found in such a state, having been so unceremoniously disposed of by the Grand Sirs. But, ignominy notwithstanding, I am most grateful for your succor and pleasantly surprised to be reunited with you all. Uh, this wouldn't have happened if you had waited... This wouldn't have happened had you waited for us instead. Wait, why in the hells are you still wearing that rubbish? <laughs> An impenetrable disguise is essential when consorting with criminal elements. Alas, it would seem the Grand Sirs have grown more perceptive in their newfound youth. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, do you mean they've already regained their youth? What about Giggy? Did you see him? Was he behaving? Was he behaving strangely? Now that you mention it, his warm sulfur eyes were rather more pointy. Now that I remember, that's concerning. By the fury, not pointy. According to Archmage's Quan, Archmage's Quan's notes, that's a sign that Giggy's using too much magic. If he carries on like this, his ether will be expanded, expended, and he'll end up not more than an empty husk. Okay, yeah, we gotta do that. This is terrible news. We must catch up with the Grand Sirs at once. <clears throat> do you know where they were headed? All I heard was that they were keen to slay dragons. They were bound for the Churning Mist, a place called Zenith, to kill a great worm named Nidhogg. But... What? Um... I don't know how to tell you this, but Nidhogg's kinda dead. Like, actually for real this time. Really? That all happened? Huh. Ahem! <clears throat> I meant the other one! Race Vulgar! Okay, now we have problems, because Race Vulgar's a... G Race Volger is a friend. Race Volger, Fury, take me. That w what could they possibly hope to achieve? Why are we scrolling up? <gasps> he gets a little giggy! Awesome. Okay, this just looks like absolute chaos. Hildebrand wishes to entreat your aid in a matter of grave import. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, do hereby ask you all to aid me in rescuing my son and putting a stop to the Grand Sir's machinations. You know, there's really no need for all that. We came here because we wanted to help. Valid. I, Nashu, faithful assistant, maker of explosives extraordinaire, do hereby present to you this fresh change of clothing. <laughs> Capital! I knew I could count on you, Nashu. I shall change en route. Come, my friends, to Zenith and to Giggy! Make ready, my friends. The final battle with the Grand Sirs is at hand. Where are they? <laughs> Twould seem my wounds were more serious than I thought. I fear I am in no condition to confront our foes. There is but one thing that could restore me to my formal indomitable self. Don't worry, I've got some salamander. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got some salamander oil right here. Shall mummy give you her baby boy a massage? <laughs> oh, my dearest mummy, <coughs> mother dearest, I would not impose upon you. Not when my ever loyal associate Luna stands ready to minister my muscles. <laughs> I'm going to hurt you. Don't tell me you're embarrassed. Let mummy take care of little Hildy's hurts. <laughs> She's just laying it on. 
My dear wife, I know you mean well, but let Luna handle it. Theirs is a bond which transcends time and space and personal boundaries. <laughs> I don't know about that last part, Godbert. That's the way of it. I'm counting on you, Luna. Why do I have to do this? It's weird. Let us brook no further delay. Come, friend, coat my body in oil as you have done many a time before. It was only the one time, and I severely regret it, you awkward fuck. Why do you hesitate? Have we not? <laughs> have we not done this time and again? Oil me up, woman! I will smack the shit out of you, I swear to God. Uh... Ooh, how it soothes my aches and pains. Quickly now, knead it into my flesh. Knead it as you have never kneaded before! I'm about to knead it with my fucking gun blade. Stop making it weird! Ah, the re uh, such fur furious needing! I applaud your enth enthusiasm, but mayhap I urge you, mayhap I urged you to excessive force. I'm a gunbreaker, dude. I break shit. This is what I do. Ha, huh. ha! Nay, you were in the right. Already, the gentle warmth begins to spread throughout my body. The fires of righteousness burn anew within my breast. <laughs> Hold, my son! Though passion is renewed, you may yet be spurred to greater feats of Mandevillian strength. Derived from the purest essence of Salamanders, the ancient legacy of House Manderville. Salamanderville! To you, my beloved son, now become a proud father. I bequeath <laughs> this most sacred of wells. <laughs> this is so okay. I have officially decreed that Godbert is a fucking anime character. There is no other explanation for any of this bullshit. He teleports around like a ninja samurai shitter. He just appears when he's needed, and he has some random MacGuffin bullshit that just happens to be important. The hell? Oh, okay, there's actually a person there. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm stuck by a chocobo. Salamanderville? Could it be that the legends were true? Your muscle, your muscles shall shine. Oh, fucking hell, English is hard. Your muscles shall shine with the brilliance of a thousand suns. No mortal man will have the power to do you harm. Verily, it is so. For by its grace did I once weather the slings and arrows of a bandit horde and bring my hammer of justice to bear upon their wicked heads. <laughs> The time has come, Luna. Take this oil and help Hildy become a Manderville man he was meant to be. Why am I a part of this? This is weird. Uh, I, I am ready for my final oiling, Luna. Oh, good lord. Granada! Oh, oh, oh! Salamanderville. How it flows at every nook and cranny. <laughs> That's gross. Quickly now, lay your hands upon me. Massage me with all your might. Alright? Let's do this. <laughs> you want all my might? Let's fucking go. Head cannon? I'm just like pretzeling his ass around and like flinging him around like a pair of nunchucks. But a person. Because I am that strong. Uh, yes! Yes! That's the spirit. I can feel it building and rising. Rising? This sounds oddly sexual. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> this is weird. Stop posing! <clears throat> such passion, such fervor. I am the inferno unbound, the tempest unleashed, but I have not yet begun to pose. Stop! Uh, I'm just glad that I'm wearing gloves. This would be really weird otherwise. Uh, I, uh, I am Amanda. Amanda. Manderville Man! <laughs> so I shoulder brand once more with feeling. Ah, ah. The Salamanderville is my word. I've never felt so alive. Such vibrant colors, such intense sounds, such... Such fragrant smells! Mother, father, Luna, t'was your oils and your strong yet tender fingers which opened mine eyes to the glory of creation. I am a gentleman inspector reborn. Onward, to Zenith! No matter the laws of nature they pervert, 
<laughs> the limits they break. The Grand Sirs can do not to stop me. <laughs> this is gonna end so stupidly. Oh, we're having a team huddle? Okay. Please don't go Super Saiyan. So you're actually looking ready, man. on the trigger for it. There we go. Maybe. I do this Probably not. <laughs> I hope that one caught. Okay! Oh! They actually did it! That's concerning. Well, he's not ridden with dementia anymore. That's nice. Oh, well. This bitch actually kind of cute. <laughs> I mean, you remove 60 years and yeah. Ah, missed that one. I'm just looking for a good thumbnail, guys. Oh, no. Giggy looking mean. Yeah, that's a decent one. This <laughs> dick so many screenshots. Grand sirs, I have come for my son! Oh, must we do this now? We have dragons to slay. Not with me around, motherfucker! There's no need for any of this. The war is over. But not for long. The worm's death will give rise to a new era of fire and blood. And we, having consumed his eyes, will use a our new powers to win untold glory on the battlefield. Our strength will echo in eternity. You realize this is the whole reason you, like Ishgard itself, has been consumed in literally generations of warfare! Get out of here, you bastards! I'm sick of you uh, shit! You would doom countless innocents for glory? No, I won't allow it. Over my dead body! Or be it from us to deny you, then. This is the end for you. Take one fucking step, and I will break all three of you over each other. Oh wow, they're actually kind of strong. I expect either this is going to be a raid, or Hildy is going to decimate them. Okay, Julian's worried. That's not, that's not good. Why are you looking scared, man? You got that Salamanderville going for you. Oh, they just straight up banished his ass to the Shadow Realm. That's fucked up. <laughs> They're hitting him with <laughs> you just dropped the holy on him. Alright, we got some Dragoon stuff going on, some Black Mage stuff going on, I would assume. The arrow, I see. They're really wailing on him. <laughs> I can't help but notice that he's still standing after all of this. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Who the fuck is this? This is just the comic relief episode to an anime at this point. I I got nothing else. Giggy? Alright, so where is Hildy? Because I know he's not dead. Alright, he's there. That's fine. Why don't you just stand the fuck back up? Oh no. Oh no. Have faith, my love. He is our son. <laughs> Godbert knows. Godbert fucking knows. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> it just stands the fuck back up. 
Giggy, my beautiful boy. Pray do not look at me with the such pointed eyes. Let Papa Hildy take you home to our gazebo. Completely unfettered! Like, completely, not even close. Stop calling me that. My name is Vivi. Vivi! Remember, I remember everything. My powers, my purpose, my Grandpapa Quan. I made them young again, but it's not enough. I need more. More! I need the worm's eyes, and then I can finally bring him back. Sorry, Giggy, but no, you cannot. Grandpapa Quan is gone. Aww. He's right, Giggy. Maybe you could restore his corporeal form and breathe life into it, but his soul, what made him your Grandpapa, is forever beyond your reach. It's not true. I can, I can restore anything to its ideal form, to the way it should be. Even Grandpapa Quan, even you, Papa Hildy! Please, Giggy, you have to stop. If you keep using your power, you'll die. I have deep concern as to where this is going to go. <laughs> He's already in top shape. Yeah, no, he is just... He is at peak performance. <laughs> I don't understand. Your clothes are still dirty and tattered. <laughs> the pose. As they should be, Giggy. For my every waking moment is... <laughs> is as the gods intended. Every day I live life to the fullest. Every day I enjoy grand adventures. Life lessons inbound. I found your grandpapa's research notes. What give, what he gave you wasn't the power to make things the way they were. He gave you the power to change the world. To make things the way you yourself believe they should be. That's why your magics have no effect on the inspector. Because you know in your heart that this battered and bruised form of his is, in its own way, right. We're getting really deep with this. My thoughts exactly, Inquisitor Seer. And if... And it is the self-same reason that you were unable to make Grand, Grandmaster Quan younger. In your heart, you knew that... You knew there was not that needed to be changed. Your beloved grandpa... Your beloved grandpapa was exactly as he should be. Your everyday... Them. Your every day was to be treasured and worthy of celebration. I am sorry, guys. That I, I started off so well. I was doing so well, and then it just went bad. Then, then what about the Grand Sirs? Why was I able to make them young again? All you truly knew of them was the stories they told, wondrous tales of daring do by heroes in their prime of their lives. It's no wonder you were able to envision them as such. Seer is suddenly, like, extremely competent, and I am digging it. Seer, my man. That's all they ever talked about, when they were young and free and full of fire. At first, Archmage's Quan didn't understand the true nature of your abilities. He struggled to deduce why you could not make him younger than, as he originally intended. Eventually, he realized that your fond memories of him were preventing you from conceiving of him as anything but an elderly creator, and that the only way to achieve his goal would be to take them from you. That's fucked up. But you were all he had in the world. No, no longer a mere mammoth, but a friend. Family. His only family. His grandson. He couldn't bear to lose you, so he renounced his quest for immortality. But I still lost my memories in the end. He was afraid of leaving you all alone in the world, afraid that others would attempt to take advantage of you and your magic. So before he died, he decided to take your memories from you after all. To protect you. This is hitting me in the feels, I'm gonna be honest. This is... hmm. I didn't expect this deep of a story, and I am very much happy about it. 
But despite his best efforts, something remained. Something stronger and more powerful and more resilient than anything Archmage's Quan ever dared dream. You were never broken, Giggy. You were never abandoned. All he wanted was to set you free. My heart. Free? Free to do what? Whatever you like, Giggy. Don't you see? That was his final gift to you. A new life. A new story. All your own. Pop back up with the square eyes. This has all been very, very touching, but we're not getting any younger. Well, you aren't at any, right? I'll get to you, bitch! You have suffered your meddling long enough. I had intended to use this trap to kill the worm, but since you are all so perfectly positioned... I wouldn't do that! Yeah, like, we wouldn't be able to get out of the way of this. They're falling so slow. Ha ha ha! Giggy! Welcome back, homie! Yeah! <laughs> that was awesome! Giggy, my boy! Yo, I got this. Oh, shit. <laughs> Giggy going Super Saiyan now. Oh, damn. Vivi, grandson of Archmage's Quan, and Giggy, son of Hildebrand. <laughs> and this is my story! Sorry I didn't get to read that all the way through. I kind of panic on those. It's usually shorter than I think, but dude, what a moment! And what a cool way to explain the resetting of the stage. Giggy taking command of his life. My man! Here, you all right, buddy? You okay? <laughs> I know I'm fine. I'm worried about everybody else. Also, where, where's Godbird and Julian during all this? Real talk, where they at? Yep, yeah, right back to normal. Where's Giggy though? I would rather not there be any tragedy in a Hildebrand episode, please. Giggy. <gasps> it has been like ten seconds. He's already back to falling asleep standing up. <laughs> Why is his armor gone? <laughs> <laughs> this is what peak physical performance looks like, let's- oh no. Um... What? <laughs> Why is Julian in full beast mode? I'm worried, man. Seer? <gasps> Seer! Homie. Oh no! Not Giggy. 
<laughs> Godbert's squaring up. Sir evolved to be such a homie. Why is Julian still in beast mode? It's like it never happened. With the last of his strength, he turned back the hands of time. Not just for the pillars, but for us all. He made, it, he made us as we once were. As we were meant to be. After all that gallivant and I get bugger all, what about my misspent youth? I was not meant to be this bloody old. You still look like you're 16! <laughs> such a fine day! Never have I squatted with such perfect form! I may well have reached my, phys my physical peak! Godbert, stop. <laughs> what rot. Act your age, you daft sod, you look foolish. Have you met Godbert? You should be grateful. Giggy saw what you had become and gave you a second chance. That was our second chance to relive our glory days. It was all rather silly, though, wasn't it? Maybe Quan had the right of it. Maybe it's not so bad growing old. I was a coward when I was young, but now that I'm old, I'm not afraid to say things like, I love you, Doris. Oh, wow! <laughs> That's small! A blind buddy fool conspart. <laughs> Julian, I need you to chill, please. You're making me real nervous. Yeah, why hasn't Hildy woken up yet? There we go. Say, am I dead again? No, not yet, but with Julian nearby, you may very well soon be. Quite alive, Inspector, along with everyone else, thanks to Giggy. The Grand Sirs are also in our custody. <laughs> There's the smile. Ha ha ha, that's my boy. Where's the little tyke, anyway? Oh no. Giggy, he... Giggy embarked on a grand new adventure. He's no longer with us. Oh no, not Nashu! I see. If that's what he wanted, then I could not be happier for him. I'm sure Archmage's Quan would feel the same way. This got sad. What do we do now, Inspector? Is it not obvious, Nashu? The wide, wide world beckons to us, with the promise of mystery and wonder. We shall resume our never-ending quest for cases perplexing and profound, and perhaps, one day, we shall meet young Giggy again. Ah... Uh. The pose. Once more. And there we go. Julian... Uh, okay, she's she's no longer Super Saiyan. That's good. Uh, I hate to admit it, but this whole mess got me thinking that maybe... Maybe it wouldn't be so bad if I really did have a grandson. Aww! You did right by Giggy, Hildy. Your father and I could see that. We're proud of the man you've become. Aww! 
This is just wholesome. I am proud of you too, Mother, for finally coming to terms with the ephemeral nature of physical beauty and allowing yourself to age gracefully. Oh no! I'm afraid to click, cause Hilda, you done fucked up, man. I. Okay, I'm I'm gonna call it. Um, giant pan, Julian teleport dashing, and then Hilda goes flying. I'm calling it now. Tell me if I'm right. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I was right. Uh oh. Oh god, no. Yep, called it! Gracefully, was it? <laughs> Four! <laughs> I fucking nailed it! I fear we may have had a failure to communicate! Oh no, she's falling! <laughs> Spiked him, really? Oh no, that was a curveball. Where's he going? <laughs> Wait, I think I can see him, like, right there. There he goes again. Wait for me, Inspector. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Hark, what is this curious light I spy in the far eastern skies? And this oh so familiar scent with fills my nostrils. Do I smell a case? <laughs> Worry not for me, my friends, forever. The wronged one sucker, I, Hildebrandt, shall be there till we meet again. <laughs> Did he seriously just Superman into the distance? Oh no, you can't just bring me back to Giggy like that, man. Please tell me it just pops back up. That would make so much better. Wait, what? Godbert, why do you have their weapons? I mean, it makes sense, but... I say, you do know that so long as the core remains intact, little Giggy is not actually dead. <laughs> That's right, so dry your tears, boy. There's no need for all this moping about. Of course, Godbert would know. He's fallen into a dormant state because he used up all his ether. His core will gradually recharge as it draws upon the ambient ether, and in time, he will awaken from his torpor. I shall tend to the child for now. Godbert, the absolute homie. And Seer actually getting choked up about this. <laughs> I love these characters. I love them all. These three are idiots, but they're funny. As for these three, I should be glad to take them back to Ishgard in your stead. Most generous offer, my lord, but hardly necessary. After all, it is my duty to bring them to justice. Oh, yes, it was my duty. To everything I said to that young Inquisitor, I can't go back to Ishgard. They'll toss me in the cowl and throw away the key if they don't kill me outright. Okay. So go to Idleshire and live in Hildy's gazebo. Someone ought to look after it while he's away now. That doesn't sound all, ba all that bad, actually. Well, glad am I to accept your offer. She's just like, hey, come live in my son's house. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I suppose there's nothing for it but to wait until he comes back down. <laughs> I mean, it was a most gracious strike, my love. You haven't lost your touch. <laughs> what absolute bullshit. <laughs> well, that's a hell of a way to end up, eh? <laughs> Looking 
looking back on the course I've run, it's hard to think of the man that I was and feel ashamed. No, it's hard not to think of the man I was and feel ashamed. Before I took this case, I had only left the capital a handful of times. The rubbish, I believe. The facts I considered unassailable. Fury, take me, what a fool I was. Congratulations. If I hadn't met you and the inspector and Giggy, I would have never realized how much I had come to hate my job. Nor would I have discovered how much more satisfying it is to seek out the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. One might say that getting labeled a heretic and having to flee Ishgard is the best thing that could have happened to me. After all, I am now free to start a new life here in Idleshire as a consulting inspector. Oh shit, no! You know what? You do you, homie. Ah, but enough of that. There's someone I would like you to meet. Concern? <coughs> Why is his eyes... Well, Gobbert made some modifications, as you can see. His smaller size should allow him to absorb ether much more effectively over time. We thought that if he were to travel with you and share in your grand adventures that maybe... Maybe it would hasten his reawakening. Aww... <clears throat> that is so cute! Thank you, my friend. I hope our paths cross again someday. May the Fury bless you and keep you. That is awesome that they actually explained why I get a little giggy. That was so cute. Oh, wow. Uh, this is going to be another long one, but... Kind of has to be. Whew. I'm gonna be honest, guys, I, um, I didn't expect the amount of feels coming into that. I love how Sears just moving in and cleaning up the place. <laughs> it's like, fuck this, fuck this. I just realized he's wearing a blue version of the Manderfill outfit. That is amazing. Ah. <sighs> That was satisfying. I like that ending. That ending was fantastic. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna leave it. That's adorable. Oh, hey, the zombie dude came by. <laughs> and he's posing. What the fuck? Why? Why? Okay, then. <clears throat> Hildebrand will return, question mark? I believe so, because I think there's still another quest chain that I can do. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, and otherwise, that is it for this set of the Hildebrand series. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you had a wonderful time. I hope you had as much fun, <clears throat> as much fun watching it as I did making it, because this has been a fantastic thing for the channel. And just in general, I'd I've really enjoyed this, and I'm still doing more. I'm still going after the rest of the Hildebrand quests, and I'm still going after Shadowbringers eventually. I think I might actually need to do a little bit more questing to get to the next Hildebrand, but we'll see. Anywho, that is it for now. Um, Hildebrand, as a series, will be taking a break until next year, just to kind of give me a chance to fiddle with other stuff. I really want to get into Cyberpunk, and I want to start working on my D&D stuff, but you'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Definitely coming back, though. Anyway, that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop me a like and a comment down below. It does help the channel quite a bit, and you guys have been killing it lately. So much growth. If you'd like to see more, as many of you have done so far, by all means, drop kick that subscribe button and run a house of bell next to it so YouTube simply remembers to tell the almighty algorithm chan that I exist whenever I upload. 
If you would like to get in on any of my BSRE or do some dailies with me, I have a Discord, which will be linked below. By all means, come and join. I am just as stupid IRL as I am in these videos. And that is pretty much it for now. If I don't see or hear from or talk to you guys before the holiday season, then happy holidays. I wish you the absolute best in the coming new year. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next round.